So I had a couple people ask how I do how I did the circle progress indicator, scroll indicator uh, in Webflow. Uh, no extra code required, so we're just going to do a quick little walkthrough video here. Um, and so what I did is I put a div, I, you know, I have my content here, and I, I put the interaction um, on while page is scrolling here. And then uh, I'll get into that here in just a second. But I have a fixed div that shows all the time. Um, and then inside that div, I have a, another div block. Um, and so it's a fixed size. And then what I did is I just drew divs. I, I made that div, that, that uh, containing div uh, relative. And then absolutely positioned these blocks on the outside. And so let me try to change some colors so you can kind of see. Um, you know how I have it set out here. So I wanted my scroll position to start in the top middle of the circle. So these are actually two different blocks. Um, I'm just gonna do this so you can kind of see. Yeah. So I've got two different blocks up top, and then one block down here uh, on the right side, a block at the bottom, and a block running up the left side. So split across like that, and um, and then I'm gonna undo these color changes so I can. Uh, Oops. Oh, okay, so I have it drawn just like that, and then I just followed the the Webflow University video, um, where uh, for the scroll bar, you know, I just kind of did the same sort of thing anyway that, that they do in the video, where I scale this from zero on the x-axis to uh, you know to a hundred, and then did the same thing except on the y. X and Y all the way around and drew it out until the square essentially draws itself um, all the way around as we as we scroll down so you can see without any you know anything done behind it there or any anything containing it it's just a square that draws itself and I made the borders nice and wide so it would cover the edge of the circle um, so you know it, it draws itself as I scroll. So that that's the that was the first step, and nothing crazy difficult there. And so now that I have a square, it was you know how do I turn this into a circle and kind of start playing with it and get it to look the way I want. Um, so what I did was I I wanted this first of all I wanted this to go in the right at the right speed. So in my uh, interaction. I have wall pages scrolling, um, and then in here you can see I have all these different percentages. And so here's kind of how it worked out. If this is zero, then this is twelve and a half. This is thirty-seven and a half. This is sixty-two and a half. Eighty-seven and a half percent. Back to a hundred. So that's kind of how I, I worked it out, and I just laid it out just like that, um, and set it to scroll so it would reflect actually how far we are down the page. Um, so I did that and then what I did is um, exit out of this to make it a circle is I just took this containing div um, and I, I gave it a radius of 50 percent and then I just said you know overflow hidden so now I have a I have a circle so you know as I as it draws it's kind of painting the outsides of my circle here. And then on top of that, I just came in and it's hidden right now, but I have an overlay circle that I positioned over the top of this um, that sits over the top of it all. So now when I preview, you can't see the middle of the squares drawing, but it's literally it's just the, the squares drawing on the edge of this circle. Um, and I've cut off the overlay and I've covered the middle up so you can't see it. And then I did a thing where I changed the color of the progress uh, indicator at the bottom and I switched from, uh, you know, a company logo to where it zooms. It's a really quick, but it zooms out and zooms in like, oh, yeah, you've completed reading this. Congratulations. I think in my goal in, in my project, this will be a little bit smaller and it will contain the read time of the article. Um, so they know how long they're going to be spending reading it. And then, um, 
whenever they you know hit this end I would like to I'm still this from the TechCrunch blog but uh, I really like how they have the ability to I can click out of that and get back to the main page of content so I think I'm gonna do something very similar with that um, so anyway that's how I did it uh, it felt super simple when I did it explaining it I guess is a little more to it but it really is a pretty basic concept and and uh, it turned out pretty well you know I mean now the the edges are a little you know you can see it's angled from the way this circle is clipping it um, and you can actually see where the one one edge starts like if you're scrolling slowly and the other one starts drawing um, and there's some things I can do to, to remedy that that I haven't haven't got to yet but um, you know but it's it's pretty neat and it, I think it took me maybe 15 minutes to, to put together in total so um, it, was, it was pretty quick so anyway that's how I did uh, circle scroll indicator in Webflow. I'll uh, I'll make this project clonable in my Webflow profile, so that way if somebody wants to steal it and use it, you absolutely can. Um, reverse engineer, play with it, see how it was done, um, and then you know take it and use it in a project of your own. So, thanks. Hopefully, this was helpful.